Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. Didn't treat you to my face today because, well, you've seen it three days in a row last week. So I want to apologize for my mistake. I had originally uh, recorded my Saturday video and was going to record it on Saturday. Then I realized I had a cash stuffing to put in there. I didn't want to hit you all three days in a row, so I was going to move it to Sunday. I went in, changed the title, changed the description. Didn't change the date. Oh, well. Can we call that a senior moment? I think we can. I always love it when there's an excuse. I want to thank you all for joining me today. It is Monday. It's the time of the week when I cover my spending with you and other miscellaneous things that come up. And also we do some savings challenges. The most fun one is the one that many of us are all saving together to go on a cruise or any kind of vacation. On Mondays, free printables for that are always in the description box below if you want to join us in doing that it doesn't have to be a cruise it's cruise themed but if you just want to save a vacation or for a vacation with us you can do that let's start with a recap of my spending okay on monday didn't spend anything on tuesday again no spending on um, Wednesday, I spent $64.97. I bought some rain deflectors for the back of my minivan. They're basically just the little covers that go over the back of the windows so that if it's raining, you can crack your windows a little bit and the rain won't come in. I think technically they're to deflect the wind. So if you have the windows cracked, it's not as loud. But for people who camp in their minivan, you always have to have a window cracked because you always have to be moving air or you'll get a lot of condensation. So those provide the ability to be able to crack your window just a titch and um, move air without letting water come in. And those are fairly expensive because I, I go ahead and get the WeatherTech brand because they go up inside the window. I don't want anything sticking to the outside of my van. So expensive, but well worth it. On Thursday, I went to McDonald's. Uh, seven, oh, I'm sorry. I got these, I did these backwards. Okay, so forget what I said on Thursday. On Thursday, I actually went to Walmart. I spent $61.26. I got face cream, other hygiene items, and food. <sighs> I tell, my face cream that I buy it's altogether like $8. I buy the Walmart brand night cream and then basically the Walmart brand of olive oil of Olay overall cream, right? And I guess these are highly sought after items for, you know, the gangs of people to come in and steal or whatever. So they're all locked up. And the poor guy, his back was killing him. He goes, and what I wanted was on the bottom shelf. He goes, okay, it's going to take me just a minute because my, my, my back is out. And so I just reached down and grab it. And he's like, oh, I appreciate that. But you could really get me in trouble because I'm supposed to get everything out of the cabinet. It's like, I'm going to try to steal something with the guy standing right there. Come on, people. Quit stealing stuff. And then the rest of us don't have to put up with this garbage, right? Okay, that's an old lady rant. Sorry. Okay, now then on Friday, this is what I actually spent. So I went to Twelve of Lights with my granddaughter. Yay, it was so fun. I will try to insert a picture right here. This is the Trail of Lights in Austin, Texas. I really love these. Next is a picture of the tree. It was lit this night. It was a special ceremony. And then a picture of downtown Austin. Not on the Trail of Lights, but equally as stunning. Right. I spent $7.46. I stopped at McDonald's on the way because I knew I wasn't going to have a dinner. And I'm telling you, I had to check my order like three times because the last time I bought a meal at McDonald's, it was in the $9 and it was $7.46. I thought I had, I thought maybe they hadn't given me a meal or something. Um, I don't know if it was the particular town I was in or if maybe the prices at McDonald's are starting to go down. And they should because McDonald's was not hurt by COVID. I worked there for 20 years. I know exactly the impact that wage growth has had on McDonald's. And I'm telling you, McDonald's and all those other places are price gouging. And so I was glad to see this number go down. And that's old lady rant number two. Oops, sorry. Okay, TX tag tolls, because when I go to my granddaughter's house, I go uh, on the toll road. And so it automatically did a recharge. It wasn't $10 worth of tolls, but it does a recharge on my card. And then on Saturday, which was really on Saturday, I went to the Nutcracker. I know, what a Christmassy weekend for a Grinch, right? 
Anyhow, so I spent, um, I went to Ikea before and I spent $2.90, $2.90. I got a hot dog and a soda because I knew we weren't going to eat until like six o'clock that night. And I spent $19.40 on some miscellaneous items. Let me share one item that I bought that really surprised me. So someone had mentioned that Ikea has um, little pins and that they work fairly well for bullet journals in the term of bleeding through your paper. Well, that was not true. They bleed right through my paper. However, these things are so amazing. They color so nicely. They color better than my S notes. And they were $3.99 for a 24 pack. Right? It's the Mala brand at Ikea. I think I've seen, um, I think I've seen figuring out retirement use these. And I know I've seen Madeline from Madeline Budget use these. I totally recommend these. I could not believe it. Y'all know I'm a pen snob and I have a lot of pens. And so when, you know, I see something for $3.99, I'm going to try it. And it's not an issue that these don't work for my bullet journals because my S notes do. So I just moved. My S notes are going to go for my bullet journal. And then these will be for coloring and challenges. Loved it. And then I also got a few little things for my van, some storage options, that kind of stuff. Nothing overly fun at Ikea. I forgot to mention that I spent $20 at a restaurant eating out as we girls always go out for dinner before we go to the Nutcracker. And then on Sunday, I got a calculator. Let me show you something else. I love these, what I call clickety clackety calculators. I think they're super, super fun. But I got this one because it had the double zero on it. However, they moved the zero over to here. And if you're used to 10 key, the zero's here, the double zero's here. And so I keep hitting the clear when I go to do a zero. So if I go $10, for instance, I keep hitting the clear and it clears out my thing. And so I had to order another calculator and I just ordered just a standard everyday non-funky calculator. I love the clickety clackety ones, but my last one broke very quickly as well. All right, and then I bought some adjustable legs. I'm going to re be remaking the van no, I'm not going to be remaking the van. I'm going to be remaking my bed in the van. And I got these adjustable legs. Part of the reason I wanted these particular legs was that if I am camped somewhere and I can't get totally uh, level, I will be able to uh, screw those legs up a little bit or down a little bit and level out my bed at least. So that's really nice. It also enables me, if I need more storage, I can raise the bed up a bit so I have more room underneath. But if I need less storage, I can raise the bed down a bit and then I can have more headroom. So, love that. Let's get into the fun stuff. All right, first, my box. Nothing in here anymore but the D's and the L's. I had been hinting about the fact that I just wasn't getting joy and saving and coloring bucks and all that kind of stuff. Blah, right? But I do find joy in saving my D's and my L bucks. D bucks are for me and L bucks are for my granddaughter. My grandson has a binder of his own. His name does not start with any of the letter bucks. So couldn't do that for him. All right, let's do my envelope. I am bringing this back next year. But I'm not going to do it in my Monday videos because this is out of my just my frivolous walking around money. And I don't want to be spending as much on savings challenges when you consider I'm doing money for the cruise. I'm doing my box and this. It was taking more than half of my walking around money. And I want to spend more of that. So this is going to stay with me because I absolutely love this binder. I love the feel of it. I love the look of it. I love the amount that it saves every month. So this is going to be staying. It's just going into one of my savings challenges. Today, I am going to be doing $11. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I will probably, I think... One of my recaps is on Christmas, and then I'm going on a cruise later in the month. And so I think I'm going to probably, on the third video of this month, go ahead and get all this stuffed and then empty this out with you. The reason I need to do that is I've been stuffing like pretty money in here all year, and I am going to use this for Christmas. Last year I went to the bank to get money for pretty money for Christmas, and this is the leftover of that. So. I don't want to go to the bank and get more pretty money because I have it sitting all right there. 
Let's draw some numbers. Okay, what do I got? 15 is $6. And 20 is $2. Okay, let's get my thing out. Let's see what I can grab. Okay, so I need $6 and $2. I just add these together. All right. Oh, I have $2. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Five. Let's take a yuckier one since it's just going to be sitting in this box for a year. Okay. That's my walking around money. I'm saving $8 today. I was thinking about getting one of the challenges from, uh, oh, I forget her name, but she does a, a, a low budget 50 envelope. But I had this box that I had made. I've been itching to use it. And so I decided if I add the numbers together, I can turn this into a low challenge or a low dollar savings challenge. Excellent. Two more envelopes stuffed. This never sold at my sister's shop, but I'm kind of glad it didn't because this was before I learned that you really need to use five mil when making any envelopes. Oh, look at the monies. The real money sitting in there. I love it. I should put the big old dollars on the outside because this looks like it's all ones. Note to self. Okay. That one is done. All righty. Oops. All right, you know what time it is. I'm gonna get out, let me see, purple. Let's get out teal, orange, and blush. Let's find us some $10. Yeah, I'm gonna get a scrap piece of paper, I'll be right back. All righty, I like doing this so y'all can see what it is. I'll grab this Sharpie right here and write with it. Okay, got the calculator right here. So we have $10 to spend. Let's get more of these big ones out. So we're going to do $3.59. I think we're going to do this light purple. Okay, so purple. And then let's do this page. Let's do this $2.92 right here since it's partially covered. And I think I can do that in this orange. Let's see how much we have left, $10. Now, if you are new to the channel and you're wondering what I'm doing, if this book comes from All Things Kimberly, you do not have to have this book. I provided some printables down below and you are just saving the amounts that equal $10 and you're coloring your boxes about the same color if you want to, nobody makes you do it, but if you'd like to, you can do that, certainly. Let's do two from this if we can. So we have 349. Let's do 152. And let's do that in blush. And then 197. Ooh, it's 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 available. And we can do that in teal. All right. So if you are doing this with me, we're going to add this up. 359, 292, 152, and 197 equals $10. 359 in some sort of purple color. 292 in some sort of orange color. 152 in some sort of pinkish blushish color. And 197 in some sort of teal color. Let's get going. I hope that you all are going to have a great week coming up. Like I said, I was super Christmassy in my week last week. The Nutcracker and going to the Trail of Lights. You know, we go to the Nutcracker every, or not every year, but quite often because we all the girls in the family do it. And so, of course, I love going because it's our girl, girl family event. And But I'm usually not a huge fan of the Nutcracker. But I'm going to say that this year's Nutcracker was better than ones I had seen in the past. The extra dancers they had were really good, and they did some different stuff. So I really actually enjoyed the Nutcracker this year. The orchestra was amazing, and I'm glad I went. And of course, and, and I mean, I'm glad I went for other than just hanging out with the girls. I'm always glad when I spend time with the girls and the family. I mean, I'm glad I actually went to the Nutcracker itself, because it was pretty darn good this year. All right, 152 in a blushish color. 
I think I've got a party I'm going to on Christmas Eve. And at this point, that is all of the Christmas activities I think I have on my agenda. I will be spending Christmas Day with family. I'm not sure which one, but I will be spending Christmas Day with family. And then going on a cruise. I'll be on a cruise ship over New Year's. Woohoo! Love it. I am so excited. It's the first time I've ever done that. And I'm not only going on a cruise on New Year's, I'm going on a cruise on Carnival's newest ship. It will be the second sailing that I am on. It is the Jubilee out of Galveston. I am super excited about the whole thing. I've never been on a cruise ship for the holidays. You know, the downsides, there's more kids on there, but this is a huge ship and I'll probably never even see them. All right, look at the progress our little book is making. <coughs> or your little sheets. I'm saving these till the end because as I get closer, these are going to get more difficult, of course, to find combinations that work. And then that's where these will come in. So I'm kind of saving the lower numbers till the end. They will, you know, one week would be this one and one week would be that one practically. So look at this progress. Woohoo! I'm flipping through this also so that you can maybe look and see what numbers you might want to pick. In the comments below, if you have a number here that you like, just go ahead and pick it. You can also choose the color that you would like to put it in if you would like. And let me know down in the comments, and we can do that next week. So this is 12, what is today? Four. 12, four for $10, $180. I think my tracking's all off in my tracker because I don't think I'm a day ahead of myself. That's okay. And 180, 50, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 180 dollars. Yes. I have actually quite a bit of uh, newish money because I do, when I get the money out of my um, account every month for like my walking around and my variable expenses, I try to get a lot of like small change when I do that. And I got a lot of newish money this time so that's kind of nice and so then what i'll do is the categories that i usually save money in i'll put newer money in the categories that i you know spend in cash and take it to the store and spend it it's going to get the yucky money because the store doesn't need my nice money all righty so i hope that each and every one of you have an amazing week coming up i will be posting my savings challenge video on Thursday and getting down to the wire. I have just, I think, three stuffing in each category to get as many of this year's challenges done as I can. And that is my goal. Please stay safe during the holiday seasons. Have fun. Enjoy your family. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.